take out my boots. I'm kind of over it. I'm tired of fake look. They're too big for my body, too big for my frame, and it just doesn't fit me as a person anymore. So I went to the doctor, and at the present moment, I had, had 585 cc's. So my doctor suggested that I go smaller and then smaller just to see how my skin retracts because if I don't do it that way, then I'll just be left with basically saggy skin. And I wouldn't like it because it would look really deformed. So I said, okay. So we went and we did the 385. Now, mind you, I did the 385, right? And tell me why the worst thing that could possibly happen happened. Yes. One of my breasts got encapsulated. And once again, this is something that can happen whenever you do surgery. So when I went in there, my left breast was encapsulated where the muscle had, had, had contracted around the implant. And it just was so painful. So I was like, you know what? This is kind of, this is just crazy, number one. And I knew that this could have possibly happened, but it actually happened to me. And out of all the times that I had got my breast done, it's never happened. So moving forward, I go and I get the surgery um, December 21st, and we decided to go with 190 cc's. My doctor told me that I needed some type of implant because if I don't do some type of implant, basically my boobs are just going to be mush. And once again, this is something I'm going to have to deal with again in the next 10 years. These surgeries are so expensive to where as though it's really like something that you really have to keep up keeping. And I'm just like, ugh. But, now I'm at but all in all, though, I'm very, very, very happy. And I am excited because now I'm like a part of the itty bitty titty committee.